Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is week five. But I've had a really bad day. Um, to the point I cried. I cried so hard I gave myself a headache for half of the day. It's it's gone now. I'm I'm okay now, but yeah, I cried so hard it gave me a headache for half of the day. My anxiety and stress won today for very good reason, but nothing earth shattering really happened, but so I woke up this morning, got ready, went to go get my bus and I'd been stood there a while, it was about seven o'clock and I was like, something isn't right. Cause I've been getting this bus every day for since September, you know what I mean? I know when the bus is, is due, it's never later than seven o'clock. And it was like two minutes past seven, something like that. And the bus wasn't there. So I checked the app and there was no bus. I, and in my head I was like I must have missed it how did I miss it I was here at the same time I'm here every day but there was a 548 due in like two minutes at a bus stop that's like five minutes away so I ran I ran to the bus I got on the bus I was like hyperventilating because I don't I don't exercise I just don't anymore it's one of my goals this year but at the minute I'm still not exercising it just hasn't happened yet so hyperventilating out of breath felt really sick and I'm on the bus and I'm like I have never missed the 549 the only time I didn't get the 549 was when they'd like altered the buses because of the snow and the 549 didn't go past my house it went a different way because of the snow even though that road was fine so that's the only time I've ever missed that bus and it wasn't because I was late, it was because the bus had gone a different route. So I get the app out and I check for tomorrow at the time when my bus is due and there is no bus. So I'm like, brilliant. They've changed the bus times for the 549 and the 548. But it's okay because when it gets Halifax, which is the next town over, um, I can I can still manage to get the 503 to get me to work on time this is all fine it's not that big of a deal it just means i have to leave my house like five minutes earlier than what i normally would this is fine not a big deal get to halifax i have a sig while i'm waiting for the 503 it's due so i dock out my sig go queue with everybody doesn't show up the next one's due at 35 minutes past seven doesn't show up like 37 something like that it shows up everybody piles on and the bus is just sat there not moving like you were meant to go five minutes ago like why haven't you moved so i message my boss and let him know i'm going to be late because the buses are all messed up and then somebody behind me is talking to somebody they know on the bus and they say oh yeah all the bus times have changed to saturday service so i'm like I go onto the first bus website and funnily enough, all of the buses have changed to Saturday service. Nobody told us that this was going to happen. There was no signs anywhere on the buses, in the bus stations. I follow the first bus on Facebook and Twitter and I haven't seen anything about them changing bus times, but it went into effect today and I had absolutely no idea. So I am fuming i'm on the bus and i'm checking the like bus times another thing that is infuriating none of the timetables at the bus station have changed so you know them like little things that, where it says your bus and where it goes and what time it's due they still have all the old times on it they still have all the old timetables not these new adjusted timetables that they've posted online that the buses are actually running so if you go to the bus station it says your bus is due in 10 minutes it might not actually be due in 10 minutes there might not be another one for 40 minutes you don't know because they haven't changed it anyway so i'm on the bus on my way to work already going to be late checking and it is now going to take me until about 20 to 7 to get home from work 
because of how they've changed the bus times. I will be able to get a bus at like five o'clock from where I work into Halifax. I will get there at about like 20, 20 past five. And then there is not another bus to Brighouse until 10 to six, which means I will get home at like 20 to seven. No, maybe half past six. I might be overestimating a bit there. But about half past six by the time I get home. Now it's going to take me an hour and a half to get to the next town over. In a car it is 10 minutes and it's going to take me an hour and a half to get home. I've already spoken to my boss and me getting to work at five past eight every day is just going to have to be how it is because there is nothing I can do about that. I literally cannot get there any earlier than five past eight in the morning. There's just no buses. There's nothing I can do. So that's obviously just what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. But they are discussing me maybe having a half an hour lunch and finishing at half past four, which means I could get a direct bus from my town, from where I work to my town. But he says he'll think about it. So, and I mean, he doesn't have to do that, but this is a six minute long run. I'm really sorry if you don't care, but it is a major thing impacting my life tomorrow, today, forever. Uh, well, until March when I can start biking to work. Why I said tomorrow is um, another thing. It is going to snow tonight and all through the night and in the morning. So it might be a non-issue because there might not be any buses running tomorrow. Yeah. So that just kind of sent me over the edge today. As soon as I got to work, this guy at work, we both get the same bus from where we work into Halifax. And he was like, oh, we are bus late this morning as well. And I just pff, burst into tears, just absolutely burst into tears. I was crying for a good 10 minutes and it gave me a headache for half of the day. And I know, part of me knows that I'm overreacting a little bit and it is definitely not the worst thing to happen during this pandemic. But the fact that I can't see anybody, I mean, I get to see my mum and stepdad and I know I'm lucky for that, but... I don't get to see my, my family and my friends. My best friend lives an hour away. I haven't seen her in over six months. And I used to work part-time in my mum's pub. We don't know when pubs are going to be able to reopen. So I'm really struggling for money. And now this, now I can't even get to and from work at a reasonable time. And it just all just felt too much. So that is my day to day. That is eight minutes of my life. Um, I'm gonna have to try and edit that down. That is, that is like half a vlog just there. Um, but yeah, so I am gonna edit. I've got the video I filmed on Sunday. Did I film it yesterday? I think I filmed it yesterday. I've got that video to edit. I've already got my tea on. I'm gonna edit, eat my tea, get a shower, read my book. And try and chill. So it looks like my bus is running. Like one of eight that are running in Halifax. So I've got to try and get to work. This is ridiculous. Look at all that snow. And I've still got to try and get to work even though I know damn well I'm gonna end up stuck. Not happy. So, we stood at the bus stop about five minutes and uh, during that time, all the buses have been suspended. So I've rang up work. And he said, it's fine, um, don't, I can't get in. I said, I'm not walking in this, it's awful. And he says, that's fine. 
um, I have to keep an eye on the buses and maybe go in at lunchtime if things go back to normal, but we'll see. Look at my hat, guys. Just look at that. My pom-pom is, like, frozen. The dog's really happy that I'm back. Look at my bag. Just look at me. So just an example of how bad the snow is, that car there, he literally tried to drive out of that parking spot, can you see it? Drove forward and couldn't reverse. It's been stuck there for 10 minutes. And the milkmen, you know, like, I don't know if everybody still has this, but there's still like people that go around like with the glass bottles of milk. They're walking round on feet to collect all the empty bottles and put new bottles out. Like, how sweet is that? Because obviously the, the truck, the truck they use isn't brilliant. Like, I've seen it driving about. It probably can't handle the snow, so they're doing it on foot. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that if that were my job. <laughs> I'm really bored. I really, I really don't know what to do. It's so strange. Because I feel like I should I should be trying to get to work, but I can't. Because there's no buses. But if this was just a normal day off, it doesn't feel like a normal day off because I got up at six o'clock. I got ready. Like, I am wearing my uniform. I've got my uniform on underneath this hoodie. So it's not like a day off mindset. So I feel weird. I feel very weird. I really don't know what to do with myself. I must be mad. I'm taking the dog out. It's not snowing as heavy now, but uh, she's pestering me and I kind of want to see her in the snow anyway, so. I'm nervous, it's gonna be so cold. Tipsy, come here. Tipsy. <laughs> I don't think she likes the snow. So a little update for you guys again, um, it is now 10 to 11 and the buses are back running so I am going to have to try and get to work this afternoon. So I'm currently just going to have some lunch, although it's a bit early for lunch but I'm going to have some lunch and then go drop the dog off at my mum's because obviously she'd normally be there during the day if I wasn't here. And then try and get to work. Which I'm really not very optimistic about. I decided to go food shopping today. Jeez, was that fun. It actually wasn't too bad. There was a couple of things that I wanted that they were just completely out of, but it didn't really surprise me because they were out of it online as well. Um, I managed to find like alternatives for them, so I'm not massively upset. But bearing in mind, if you've seen my 2020 goals, um, if you haven't, check it out, I will tag it. But if you've seen it, then you know I'm trying to budget a bit better and not like overspend and sort my money out a bit better because Basically, I'm used to having more of a wage than I have because I was helping my mum out at the pub and obviously I'm not getting that. So it's like 150 quid a month, something like that, that I'm down. And I didn't really notice it at first and then I started spending on my credit cards and it all just got a bit blah. So um, anyway, I had set aside £40 for food shopping this month, which isn't a lot granted. But I thought if I just shop like carefully I'll be able to do it no so 
my food shopping should have been a hundred and one pound and twenty eight pence with the promotions I saved twenty one pound and sixteen pence and then I had twelve pounds in vouchers so that is the main reason I overspent a little bit because I knew I had vouchers I had seven pound a seven pound voucher that they sent me in the post and then I downloaded the club club card app today um, to check how many points I had, I have like nine, so not a lot. But I had two vouchers there that I didn't even know I had. So I used them. So £12 all in all, I saved in vouchers. But for the £7, I had to spend £70. And I'd only planned... I'm sorry, my, I'm knackered. I'm going to have to go sit down. I shouldn't be sitting down. I should be putting that away, but never mind. So to get the £7 off, I had to spend £70. Um, the other two didn't have a condition, but I had to spend £70 to get the £7 off. And when I thought about it, if I spend £40, I'd only get £5 off. But if I spent £70... I'd get like twelve pound off, so I would be spending like what is it like eighteen pound more than I wanted to, but I'd be getting thirty pound more shopping, which is almost double what I would have got. So the five pound saving didn't really feel like a lot when I thought of it like that. So I decided to spend seventy pound, and then the seventy pound turned to like eighty pound. Because um, obviously promotions and stuff come up as you're going round. But without all them, it would have been like £100. But I knew, but I like checked online and I knew exactly what I was going to get. I had a like a, as if I was going to order it online, I had a Tesco shopping list. Um, and every time I bought something, I crossed it off that list on the Tesco's app. So I knew what I was getting. I bought a few things. Um... That I didn't need to get because my I'd only got to like £69 on my shopping list so I was like I have about £10 to play with um I got my mum something for her birthday and like Mother's Day which isn't until next month but it's fine um just because it was super cute and I really wanted to get it I bought her some flowers for today just because and some bread because she asked for it and then I bought some shampoo, conditioner and a hair mask because they were on club card points. So there was like £3 off each. Um, I know they are currently on discount in Superdrug anyway, but I don't have a chance to get to Superdrug. So if I can get it for the same price at Tesco as well, I'm there, I might as well. So that was, what was that? That was like 18 quid on shampoo, conditioner and a hair mask because I pay a lot for my shampoo and conditioner, but it lasts me a while, so I don't mind. Um... And then I bought myself like a fake Chinese takeaway for one night. Just, so I got and I bought myself some like reduced cookies and I didn't buy like loads of crisps or sweets or anything like that, nothing like that. But I bought myself a few few things that are like nice and treats. And then the rest of it is food I have to make. I've decided I need to start cooking more and eat stop eating crap basically, because I'm in a really bad place, like mentally and physically, I'm really out of shape and unfit at the minute, and like mentally I'm not doing very well, so I want to start eating better, I feel like that's going to help, and I've been rambling for five minutes again, this is going to be a long ass vlog, it's only Wednesday, I'm sorry guys, I just want to show you, that is five shopping bags, you can't really see me, but I'm uh, out of the house again already because I've got to go pick up the dog and drop this bread off for my mum. <sighs> All that food in the house and I don't even know what I want for my tea. I think I'm just going to have some toasties. You know, when you're stressed and you're not really hungry. I've just spent fucking 80 quid on food and I'm going to have toasties for my tea. Morning guys, I am trying out a new bus route today. 
and I am anxious as hell. My heart is going like a million miles a minute. And I don't, I don't understand why. Work knows I'm just trying everything to get into work quicker. They're not gonna be mad if I'm later than I normally am. I was later yesterday because of the, the bus was late and but I'm still so anxious. I hate, I hate this. I cannot wait for March when I can start biking because that's all down to me. I know how long it takes me. I know the route I take. You know what I mean? It's very, and this is just so unknown. I'm really struggling today. I knew it. It didn't show up. I checked the Tiger Tiger time bus times online and it said it's uh, on, at the bus station that it was meant to show up. It didn't show up. What a day. So I managed to get to work at an all right time, earlier than I would have done getting any buses, so wasn't too bad. I didn't get in trouble at least. Um, and then I spent most of the day researching a DIY I want to do for my living room which is going to turn out to be more expensive because I want to do it better rather than cheap and cheerful and it not look as nice as I want it to. If I'm going to do it I might as well spend a little bit more money and do it right. So that was my day and then I came home and the dogs destroyed loads of stuff and I literally I just don't know what else I can do with her. She's at home by herself for maybe like two, two and a half hours, maybe three at max. Um, she's got food down, she's got water down, she's got toys, but I put them away so she can like get them out because she likes getting her toys out. I leave the radio on. I, I try and move everything so it's not on the floor and it's not within reach, but she, she opens drawers. What dog do you know that can open drawers? She opens drawers to get stuff out to destroy it. Like, I put it away in a drawer and she managed to open the door and still destroy... I don't... It's getting really close to the point where I think I might have to get her a cage and I really don't want to have to put her in a cage. So if anybody has any advice on what I can be doing... I think she has, like, separation anxiety... I think the first like half an hour after I leave really stresses her out and she destroys stuff. So I don't, if anybody has any advice, let me know because I'm at my wit's end. She's destroyed loads of pairs of shoes and handbags and headphones, makeup, hair stuff, everything. Just loads of stuff over the last few months and it's getting ridiculous. And once we get out of lockdown and my mum starts working again, it's going to be even worse. She is going to be left by herself for longer because when she's at my mum's, she's not going to have constant company then. So, yeah. Advice, please, would be appreciated. Tonight, I am just going to do some quick tidying. Um, I'm going to make some lasagna. I'm going to make a batch of lasagna. So some's going to go in the freezer, one for tonight for tea and one for the fridge for over the weekend. I'm going to get a shower and I'm going to edit. And that is pretty much all I'm doing. Because uh, I cannot be bothered. So here they are, guys. I am impressed. They look and smell incredible. Um, obviously I haven't tasted them yet, they've literally just got out of the oven, but I spent all evening doing it. It is now half past eight and I haven't done anything else I wanted to get done. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to do to do it, but they're done. And now that is tonight's tea and then, what is it, one, two, three, four, another five meals there. So tonight I'm having it with sweet potato... Um, wedges and some garlic bread. I made them myself, they're not bought or anything. So I'm gonna plate this up now. I was meant to film this morning. I just wanted to say hello and I never, I never did. So hi, I'm home from work, not too much earlier than I normally would be, if I'm completely honest. But it is what it is, there's nothing I can do about it. 
Um, I have had to stop off here first to pick up some washing to go in my mum's drying. It's the covers for the cushions on the sofa because I put them in the wash when I was going to clean the sofa with the carpet cleaner at the weekend and they're still not dry and I need to get them back on the cushions. So I'm taking these down and going to pick up the dog and then I'll be back home. <laughs> And I'm back. It is now like half past six, would you believe it? Um, and I'm going to tidy up. This is all the mess from making lasagna last night. And I have all this washing up to sort. So I'm going to tidy up and then probably make my tea because I'm hungry and then edit. That is the plan. Tonight's tea is mushroom fajitas. Um, that doesn't look anything like the recipe, but I had to change a few things because they didn't have stuff in store. I've got cheese, sour cream, guacamole and chilies and a bit of lime to put on it as well. And I'll just see how this goes. I'm excited though. I love Mexican. I am going to make a mess trying to do this, but I wanted to... Yep, it's already falling out. I want to try and eat this on camera so you can see my reaction because I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I made it spicy. Oh, it's good though. <sighs> spicy. Um, I think I know where my issue came in. Sorry, the TV's on. So, um, I accidentally mixed up cumin and cayenne pepper, <laughs> which, uh, I think that's where the spice is coming from. So I might go get some more sour cream and just like dip into the sour cream. Because I like spicy and this is very spicy. Good though. Sorry. I'm... Ah. It is now 20 to 9. I am in my pyjamas. I'm about to edit tomorrow's video. I've been meaning to do it all week i just wanted to like chip away at it and chip away at it um because it's a long video there is how much footage two hours worth of footage here um and i didn't know if i wanted to make it into two videos really there needs to be some like voiceovers the dog's walking in front of my light um <laughs> yes it's what i'm dealing with so Basically, I wanted to spend all week just slowly chipping away at it so there wasn't like a mad rush to edit a video because I haven't had to do that in ages, really. I've been keeping on top of my videos and uploading three times a week and I've been super happy about that. But it has been the week from hell with buses and snow and me not feeling very well again, again. Um, This is like the third time that I felt ill since new year so um not today but in general so i haven't i haven't edited it and now i have two hours worth of that to edit and i want to get it done and exported tonight so i can do any sort of voiceover in the morning edit and export and then have it uploaded for about three o'clock because I am babysitting my nephew tomorrow, which I'm excited about. I haven't seen him since Christmas, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done before he is dropped off at four o'clock. So... It's quarter to ten. I'm still in bed. I want to be up at eight by now. Ow! Somebody's very fussy. She hasn't been out yet this morning because it's chucking it down and I really cannot be bothered. But we're gonna go. Yes, we are. Um, yeah, by this time I wanted to be showered and dressed and doing stuff, but oh, really? Oh, she sat in a very uncomfortable place. Um, 
but I'm not yet because the rain outside is making me very unmotivated to get out of bed but I have so much to get done today I need to move do you want to go for a walk do you need wee wees yeah okay that was totally worth it I got completely soaked and so did the dog but um, she made two new friends. So she made friends with a pug called Marley. And then this 15 week old German Shepherd named Alfie. And he was so fluffy and so cute. And yeah, so we were out a bit longer than I wanted. I wanted it to be a quick walk around the park, which takes about five, 10 minutes. We've been out for about half an hour because she made some friends, but totally worth it. I feel more motivated now. Let's crack on and sort out the spare bedroom. So much to do. I'm just taking a little break. So I had to clean my sink, like deep clean my sink. There was loads of like food and grossness <coughs> in it, and it was just mean. Um, so I've done loads of, got all the washing up sorted, and then cleaned my sink. I need to prep the pizza bases for tonight. Are you saying hi? Um, yeah, I need to prep the pizza bases for tonight, and then I'm gonna get a shower. I have an intro and an outro to film for today's video, um, which needs to go up today. And then I'm also filming my vegetable chopper, like first impressions review thing, because um, I, I, I want to start using it. I've had it since Christmas, but I wanted to film first impressions of it. Um, so I've got to film that today while I do the rest of the other like pizza prep. And then I need to edit the intro and outro onto that video and just carry on tidying. I want the house to be nice and tidy. Why is there a queue of traffic there? That doesn't look good. The weather, oh my God, it's awful. Can you hear that? So bad. And yeah, there's like a queue of traffic over here. Oh, it's literally just gone as I've got to the window, so I don't know what was happening there, but the weather's so bad. I'm glad I took the dog out when I did, because this is like 10 times worse than when we went out. I am now showered and all nice and clean and fresh and I'm feeling good, but I've been non-stop since I got out of bed this morning, so I've made the leftover fajitas from last night's tea, and I'm just going to take, like... I'm going to watch one episode of Buffet, eat this lovely lunch, I'm having a flavoured coffee and just chill for about 40 minutes, just me time. I might blow dry my hair in that time or put a bit of makeup on if I feel like, I am going to put makeup on, but if I feel like getting ready, I'll get ready in that time. But just 40 minutes, just decompress and me time because it's a very busy weekend and I don't want to stress myself out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, once I've had my me time. I've decided to take another break, mainly because uh, I'm hungry. So <laughs> I have these from playing around with the vegetable chopper for that video, which took a lot longer than I wanted. Mm. That's good. And I bought some jalapeno hummus from Tesco's because I knew I was going to be cutting up stuff. Um, so why not get some hummus? We're not going out with the dogs this afternoon because it's absolutely chucking it down with rain 
and they're both a bit of a diva in the rain divas in the rain so me and my mum are not gonna bother which gives me a little bit of extra time like an hour which i really need today um i think i made a boo boo with the pizza dough i left it out on the side because i thought if i put it in the fridge it might go all dry but uh stupid brain over here didn't think it's got yeast in it like all expanded and went sticky so it's now in the fridge and I'm basically gonna, <laughs> gonna have to put it in the bowl that I made it with with some flour just before we like roll it out which kind of defeats the whole point because I wanted it to be pre-made and ready for us to just roll out but hey ho you live and you learn I've never done it before so mm. That hummus is so good. Okay. I'm going to eat. And then at 3 o'clock, I'm going to give myself an hour to just tidy, 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 tidy. I want it to be nice and tidy when he gets here. He's getting here at 4. So I've got 35 minutes to chill and eat. I do need to edit as well. Yeah, I can do that while he's here. I'll do that while he's here. Um, stick a film on for him and I'll edit. And yeah, so I want to tidy. We'll see. I have 15 minutes to edit this video, which I think is actually going to be enough. I just need to put the intro and outro on it, so... I'm happy! The cleaning didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. My room is a mess. But everywhere else is nice and tidy and clean. And everything's ready. It's going to be a good evening. My nephew has now gone um, and it's freezing outside today. It look, keeps going like looking like a snow globe. It's snowing on and off. It's not sticking though, so that's good. But it's meant to snow on and off for like the next three days. So I'm really worried about like work and stuff, but that'll be next week's problem because it's not sticking today. So don't have to worry about that today. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I obviously need to edit this vlog and I wanted to film my February goals. Um, apart from that, I don't know what I'm gonna do today, so I'll probably leave the editing until later. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to tidy my bedroom. I could tidy my bedroom. Let's go tidy my bedroom. This is my room right now. It's not overly messy, but everywhere else in the house is tidy, so it's doing my head in. Let's do a, let's try and do a transition. Did that work? I don't know. See how it turns out in editing, but here we are. It's tidy enough. It'll do. I haven't shown you my outfits this weekend. Let's use this mirror. So this is today. Just got some black skinny jeans on, a shirt, and this pink jumper because it's absolutely freezing. I've just got like the little collar of the shirt showing. It's comfy yet warm, and I'm also wearing slippers because it is absolutely freezing. I don't think it's picking up on camera, but it is snowing just very lightly. But that wind is absolutely freezing. So, yes, outfit. I've just bent. 20 minutes filming a video and my camera wasn't even on. Right. I've got to, I've got to get it done. I've got to be out of the house in like 10 minutes to walk the dog. Another evening meal prepping done. So in each of them tubs is two portions. So when I defrost it, one will be for my tea and then one will stay in the fridge and be for a lunch at work this is for my lunch at work tomorrow there's mashed potatoes with cheese on top and then one portion there and my tea 
So this is the sausage and bean casserole from the Tesco's recipes. I will link this and the other recipes that I've done this week down below if I remember. So there was the lasagna and the mushroom fajitas and then this. Um, so I'll try and remember to link them down below. Once I've eaten my tea, I'm going to get a shower and edit this vlog. So I'm going to end it here. If you've made it this far through the video, please give me a big thumbs up. I always really enjoy those. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.